I've put out a question on um, Instagram. I put out a question. My Instagram is at Trucker Brown if you want to join into this. I'm going to start doing this. I put out a question on Instagram. What should my next video be? And what I got back, I'm going to see you today and I'm going to answer a few of them. So, one of them that I'm going to answer right now is... Let me turn this up to about... Yeah, one of them I'm going to answer right now is... Starting in trucking in your 30s. Or maybe if you could restart trucking, how would you change? So basically, I'm going to take from that. If I was starting trucking over, what would I do different? Okay? That's a better way to put it. We're going to do that today off the Instagram, which is at Trucker Brown, on the Trucker Brown channel on YouTube. That's going to happen today. We have the question, what would I do differently? Oh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a thing. What would I do differently? Let me get my little chair situation. Ah, ah. I think swivels, makes it harder to move. Oh. I can get comfortable. Ah. Alright. What would I do differently? Um all right, if I was to start over in trucking, knowing what I know now, I would, number one, I would have had my, I would have came into the game knowing how long I wanted to be in it. I wouldn't have spent, I wouldn't have been in it, as, I wouldn't have been long distance as long as I would. I also would have, if I could, I would have started off going to a, a better company knowing with a CPM of 40 cents a mile. I would have known that from the jump if I was starting over. So I would have looked for whatever company, I'm not gonna say what company name in this one, but I would have looked for a company that after school I get 40 cents a mile. I would have looked for a company that elite that paid me somewhere around $500, somewhere around $500 a, uh, $500 a day. No, $500 a week. It would have been over $500 a week. Like at some places we all know the name of, they get like $700 a week. I would have made sure that I went to a company that at least paid me $700 a week or, 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 or $600 a week. It wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have ended up with 200 bucks. That's for sure. So I would have made sure that the training paid me enough money for during the training. I would have figured out as how long the training would have been. I would have, I would have asked how long is the phases a lot of time when you come in, you ain't never even heard that word phases. I, I would I would have made sure that you know that the phases is what I want. I also would have picked a place if I could that was closer to my home. I would I would I would have did that. So let's summarize this up. I would have started at a company that at least I was getting 40 cents a mile when I got out of training. I would have figured, made sure the training was the length that I wanted it. I would have made sure once I got on the truck to start my phases, I was making over $500 a week at the bare minimum. I also would have had a better understanding. Uh, now I have a better understanding of where things run and how they run because I didn't know that you could start at a regional company from start. I didn't know that. I thought you had to go through OTR and that isn't true. You can start at a company that only runs a certain regional. So I, that I would that I would have known from the beginning. That's what I would have did. Uh, definitely different. Uh, also, I would have went inside of the game with the mind that I was going to stay at that company. I wouldn't have I, I wouldn't have hopped around. I would have, I would have went in there and said I would have picked the company that was what I needed for at least a three year being there. And I would have went in there with the mind state of I can't just quit whenever I want to. Because that's why a lot of you guys come into this game. Like, oh, I'll just quit and change. No. I would have went in with the uh, with the thought process that I'm going to go to this level company that pays me this amount of money. That has the least option for me to go up even further if I want to. And I'm going to be there for three years flat. I also would have known how long I wanted to be. OTR. So I would have said, hmm, I'm going to go in, I'm going to do OTR for this amount of years. I was stuck to it, and I'd have, I'd have left. I also would have went into the game, as, as hindsight is 2020, I would have went into the game with a very comprehensive, broken down savings plan. Now, 
I would have went into the game. I would I would have I would have I would have had first of all, I would have had a bank account going in, but I would have came up with a savings plan that for the three years. Meaning, I would have said as soon as I get my truck, I'm going to save up this amount of money every week for three years, and then I'm going to get out of the game. Okay, how would that look, TB? I would have called my call my company. Or I would have uh, called my bank and said, hmm, or I would figure this out at home. I, I want to put away 200 bucks a week for 36 months. What number is that? I'm not a mathematician, so I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to use my phone. Oh, let me get this hit bar right here. What are doing here? Hold on a second. So, hold on. Where is my calculator? Why can you never find the calculator when you need it? 156 times 200, that's $31,000. Now, I don't know if that's the number you wanted, but I definitely would have had that in mind, and I would have went in thinking, I'm going to stick to this. Now, whatever the number you want it to be, make it. So let's say, hey, I want to have $100,000 before I get out of the game. I want $100,000 before I get out of the game, so... You know, that's $641 a week you got to put away. Can you do that? Maybe you want to extend it, right? Because you can drop that half by running another three years OTR, then it's like 300 You see what I mean? Like, I would have had some type of a plan to get to the number I was trying to get to. When I got in the game, first of all, I was doing it for survival. I knew I wanted to get, have good, get my credit together, and that was it. It was just survival. I wouldn't have went in. I, if I was to go in now, I wouldn't be going in from a survival mode. I would be going in from a what I want to get done mode. You understand? That's what I'm trying to get to you. I'm not going in here just button up, just butt naked with my cheek meeting the wind. I would have went in like, I know what I want to get done. And I'm going to get this done. I'm going to hit this savings marker. And I'm going to invest the savings in this. I would have had a better plan. That's that's been a long, drawn out way of answering that question. That's what I would do different if I came in the game. I would stay with the company I was with. I would understand the training phases and what I got during training way better. I would have known what my basic sim PM would have been when I got out of training. I would have known how long I wanted to be there. It would have been a place close to my house, and I would have had a comprehensive saving plan for me to exit the game, not just drive until it's like. What am I driving for again? Like, man, you don't want to do that. Thank you for coming to Truck Brown Channel. This was one of the Ask One of the Subs videos I'm doing. Don't do drugs. Be happy. Try to do better. Be angelic like me. And remember to go to my Instagram so you can take a part in this. When I do this, what would you want my next video to be? I do that on my Instagram in the snaps. My Instagram is at Truck Brown. Don't do drugs. <laughs>